hello good morning good afternoon good evening and happy sunday happy sunday my dear brothers and sisters like i always ask are you in church are you on your way to church or you are back from church because it is very very important that we go to church that's what god says that's what the word of god says that we should not forsake the assembly of ourselves together as manner of song praise god my name is bolan lulukoide i'm your host on this channel and we read rhapsody aloud rhapsody is written by pastor chris oyakilome dsc dsc dd praise god hallelujah today is sunday 18th of august and pastor says he is the way not a way mm. this is deep is the way yes he is the way who is the way let us pray father thank you for this great opportunity to study your word today lord we give you praise because your word has yes entrance to our hearts and it delivers to us what the word of god talks about thank you father in jesus name amen is the way not the way he is the way not a way act chapter 4 verse 12 says neither is there salvation in any other there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved there's no name this is very apt prompt true there is no other name praise god the bible says there's no salvation in any other for there is no other name under the heaven given among men whereby we must be saved there's none this statement gives us no chance to think that there might be some other means for salvation salvation is only in the name of jesus the lord himself was definite about this yes he said it he said no one can come to the father except by him he now said that except you are born again you cannot see the kingdom of god it is very 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 important some people think otherwise and believe there is more than one way to god to get to god in fact they claim that jesus is one of the many ways to god before taking their claim seriously one first has to ask them how they came about what they are saying and on what authority it is based they also need to tell if they've ever successfully gotten to god if they can't answer these questions then their claims are false and they have no idea what they are saying hmm. in john 14 verse 5 jesus jesus unambiguously declared i am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me it's so simple that scripture it's a it's a very direct easy to understand scripture is the way it didn't say is a way when it says is a way that means that other ways Say is the way definite article praise god hallelujah he didn't say i'm one of the ways neither did he say i am a way he said i am the way so to answer the question 
how many ways are there to God? The simple answer is there is only one way and that's Jesus Christ. There's no other way besides him. How do I know this? It's because Jesus said so. Simple. And the same Jesus went to heaven alive. Wow. So he has his evidence. He can claim it. The people who founded the various religions of the world don't have a similar testimony. When they died, their adherents could only hope that they went to heaven. But Jesus went up into heaven alive in the presence of 120 witnesses. Hallelujah. They saw him go. They saw him levitate and ascend into the cloud before their eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever is alive and his name still has power today. That's why we see so many mighty miracles happening around the world. These miracles are a testimony that he is alive. Salvation is only in his name. Hallelujah. And you can receive it today. If you are yet to do so, just go ahead and pray the prayer of salvation, which you would find on page 76 on this devotional. Wow. So, we, it has been ascertained that Jesus is the only way. He is the only way. There is no other way. There is no a way. He is not part of the ways. He is the way. He is the way. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, I implore you to come to the way. The one that knows the word. Hallelujah. And your his seed will remain in you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, we are told to come to page 76. And we will find the prayer of salvation. Wow. Praise God. So let's go ahead to take this prayer together. One, two, go. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Hallelujah. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations if you said that prayers. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. You are now in the class of God. You are now in the family of God. Hallelujah. Go ahead and download this book that is showing you right now. Your screen is called Now That You're Born Again. Download it and start reading it. It will guide you surely on how to live this beautiful life you have received. Praise God. Let's take today's prayer together. Say, Dear Father, Thank you for the blessing of salvation and for the gift of eternal life which is available to all in Christ. I boldly proclaim no I boldly proclaim the message of salvation to those around me with conviction and deter, and demonstration of the spirit such that many more may come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining today's episode of Rhapsody Read Aloud. 
I'm sure you enjoy service and you join this. Till I come again your way tomorrow, remember, it is the only way to the Father. God bless you.